Fender is most celebrated for its electric guitar amps, which date back to those made by Leo Fender himself in the 1940s. But in 1999, Fender embraced the acoustic guitar with the introduction of the Acoustasonic Amplifier. Now a classic, it has appeared in numerous variations, each offering great new features to the basic platform. The Acoustasonic 90 is extremely compact at about 15 inches tall by 19 inches wide and 10 inches deep. Having the handsome, vintage-inspired combo of a tan Tolex covering and brown control panel, the amp looks a lot like the 150 that AG reviewed in the April 2012 issue. But a closer inspection reveals that the 90 is essentially a streamlined version of that amp. The 90 has a bit less power, 90 watts as opposed to 150, and does not include the 150's voicing and string dynamics controls on the front panel or the effects loop and USB port on the rear panel. Absent too are the 150's metal tilt-back legs used to project the sound. As with the 150, the Acoustasonic 90 includes a suite of top quality digital effects accessible via a single rotary knob, vibrato, chorus, reverb plus chorus, chorus plus delay, delay, reverb plus delay, and three additional reverb types, plate, room, and hall. These time-based effects are adjustable in terms of level, not individual parameters. Fender's Acoustasonic 90 is pretty much like its top of the line 150, but costs $200 less than that amp. It sounds just as good. Most significantly, the slightly less powerful amp does away with features that are geared mostly to the acoustic guitarist who doubles on electric. In a compact and lightweight package, this amp produces more than enough sound to fill a moderately large hall, and its excellent sounding preset digital effects are perfect for acoustic guitars and singers who are not inclined to sonic tinkering. Playing through the Acoustasonic 90 is Don Landis.